Hey everyone, this is a quick review of the 3M7502 half mask. So let's take a look. Alright, so I decided to upgrade um, my painting mask ever since I switched to mostly Mr. Color Lacquers. I thought I sh uh, it was a good idea to upgrade not only my uh, spray booth but my mask as well. So for a while I've been using uh, this thing which I bought off of a, a local hardware store. It, it served its purpose but uh, I really wasn't uh, getting a good seal. I could still smell the fumes uh, with this mask. And I'm, I wasn't really sure how effective it was, uh, so I decided to upgrade. So this is what I bought. Uh, it's the 3M7502. Uh, I believe the 7501 is for the small size, and 7503 is for the large size. So it comes in three sizes. Uh, the front is a uh, hard plastic. Uh, this part right here is uh, feels like silicone rubber. Uh, it's definitely uh, much softer, more pliable uh, than the one on this mask which looks like just regular rubber. Uh, and I've tried this on and it definitely feels more comfortable. Uh, it, it fits, it holds to the to your face uh, nice and snug and, and it doesn't apply that much pressure to your face. So uh, it's, it, it, I, I definitely recommend something like this for longer painting sessions. Uh, so in the bag, it, uh, it arrived in this plastic bag, so I was a bit worried if this was uh, the real deal. Uh, I, I haven't seen what the packaging look, look, looks like for these kinds of masks. Um, but yeah, it came, this, it came in this resealable bag. Uh, and the contents are the mask, uh, a couple of these uh, plastic uh, filter holders, pair of uh, particulate filters and in a in a vacuum sealed uh, in a vacuum sealed pack which I already opened uh, came these two organic filters so it goes on one one on each side of the mask so I'll show you how it I'll show you how it works Okay, so uh, the particulate filters actually snap onto these uh, organic vapor filters, like so. So there, so that's one unit. By the way, 3M has really good uh, instructional vid videos on their website on how to assemble these. So I actually watched those before doing the review. So I don't have to figure it out while recording. Alright, so these are the filters. And they attach to the mask via these two uh, slots. There's an arrow here. I don't know if you can see that with the lighting, but there's an arrow there, uh, and you're supposed to align it uh, with uh, a tab. This thing. So align those, line those up, and then twist, and it locks in place. Do the same for the other side. So line up the arrow 
Oh, there we go. And that's the mask. As for weight, uh, I'd say this one uh, definitely weighs uh, more than the old mask, uh, but not by much. This part goes uh, over your head, uh, and this one clips uh, on the back of your neck, like so. So I'm gonna put it on, show you how it how it fits. Good seal. Nice. Uh, fit. Even with a bit of scruff here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, so, uh, fits really nicely uh, definitely more comfortable than my old mask uh, even with added weight uh, this still feels uh, much more comfortable uh, I can definitely breathe uh, much easier in this one uh, particularly when exhaling uh, I don't also, also this it, it features this uh, downward uh, vent which actually prevents uh, prevents your goggles if you're wearing goggles or glasses. It prevents it from fogging up uh, from your breath. So that's a good feature. Uh, and yeah, uh, I can't I can't say much yet about how effective it is uh, compared to my old mask, at least. Uh, but I'll definitely give this a try in my next painting session, and I'll update this post. Uh, on how it does. Alright, thanks for watching. Take control. Take control of your city. That's a terrible Bane impression. <laughs>